All right, so we're here with the MFD 5000, the Pixhawk loaded up. Uh, we've got here link, so FPV camera, aircraft, ready to go. See how we do. So the point of today's testing is to test our MFD 5000 heavy lift drone along with the here link. So I've already gotten a few test flights on it and it really did quite well. So just um, in the last week or so, just in my off time, I've been playing with some settings, updating a few things, and uh, I think we're gonna be good to go today. So the interesting thing is that we already do have orders right now for customers, especially with the MFD 3000, and this is gonna be paired with the Pixhawk Cube and the Here Link. So I'm just getting, trying to get as much testing data as I can before we send them out to customers. Um, so these are customers who want to kind of get away from the DJI uh, workflow and the interface and go with something that's completely closed, uh, you know, no data being sent anywhere um, or whatever, because it seems that their customers, who they are performing these services for, um, feel a little bit safer um, having something like a Pixhawk Cube in there. So I think that the Here Link is the perfect combination. So once again, just doing some testing today, making sure all the settings are right, making sure you know exactly what we build is, is gonna be perfect for them. Beautiful day out, can't wait, test day. All right, so we're out here at the field at the test facility. Um, so once again, we're gonna be testing here link here with the uh, MFD 5000 uh, Pixhawk edition. So this one right here, once again, we're just flying a dummy payload. We just have a 10 pound payload, nothing too crazy. Uh, this is more about testing the link and the comms link. Uh, as you can see, we're looking really good here. We got the GoPro as a FPV camera. Um, these are just 6S 12,000 batteries and uh, it's looking really good. So we will go ahead and we will hit arm. Arm. And there we go. Just basically right in, um, right here in loiter mode. Just as easy as that. I mean, it's real simple, nothing too crazy. Um, aircraft is rock solid. We'll get it up in the air here a little bit. So once again, with here link and MFD 5000, kind of a fresh setup. The McGill it's working really well. Um, so now what we're going to do is a range test because that's what everybody wanted to see. So we will go ahead and fix this camera here and go ahead and and check out the range. All right, range test. Here we go. Now for this range test, for this range test here, I have the antennas facing towards the back of the aircraft, so it's really gonna be the worst reception possible. And we'll see how it looks. So we're testing here, we're at uh, 1,482 feet from us right now. It's pretty good too, pretty darn good right now. All right, so here at about 1,600 feet, just a little bit of breakup. So I would say probably 1,500 feet of usable uh, comms and video without question, like without zero question. But right around 1,600, I was starting to see a little bit of breaking up. All right, so it may have been the high voltage transmission lines, not quite sure, um, but right around 1,600 feet or so, I noticed that uh, the video was breaking up just a little bit on here. Um, but once again, I'm going over high voltage transmission lines. Another thing of notice is that I literally just put the antennas in the worst possible position. I like literally taped them to the back of the metal frame just to see just as a starting point to see with the worst possible mounting, how's it gonna do? If I can get good range out of it with this mounting, then uh, with proper mounting, it should be quite good. 
Problem with proper mounting is as soon as we kind of have them hanging out in the air, they can get bumped or the wires can get nicked or damaged. So if at all possible, I'd like to have them kind of tucked into the aircraft. Uh, but I'll play around with some uh, mounting positions and see if we can get a better range out of it. Okay, so continuing our test here, uh, I just set up a quick little uh, few waypoints here, uh, four waypoints, got the aircraft in a hover, and I'm just going to basically upload the waypoints and uh, watch it go. So waypoints are uploaded actually, I'll just slide this over and uh, let it do its thing. So there's the aircraft doing its thing on its waypoints. Zoom in there, looks pretty good. And while it's doing that, I can pull out my video. Looking pretty good. We see we're at 99 feet, exactly where we wanted it. Um, just flying along its waypoint path. Looking really good. Looking very good. So as you can see, um, just while it's doing its waypoints, uh, I was asked the question, is this tablet big enough to kind of upload waypoints and do a whole flight? Um, I think it is. I think if you're doing a pretty simple waypoint mission, um, this tablet's quite nice. Like the size is pretty good. Um, I would go ahead and, and recommend it to any of my guys um, doing simple waypoint missions. Doing this thing. So it just did the fourth waypoint, not a problem. Um, everything was good. So now we will return to land. Return Slide to, to confirm. Sorry, return to launch. So now it's going to go ahead and return on over to where it took off. Um, once again, it really does uh, quite well here. So I think that this is slowly becoming um, slowly becoming a go-to piece of hardware for Pixhawk. Just a little bit more testing like this and uh, make sure everything works. I'll be a, I'll be a really happy camper. Good. Check it out. Full auto landing. Full auto land. Disarm. Disarm. And it disarms. It's solid. Really solid. So now that I've had a few flights on this aircraft with here link, I've come to the conclusion that I like it. I really do. I really like it. Uh, and I think we're just going to go ahead and, um, you know, our customers want it. And I've kind of held off just so I can make sure I've gotten a few flights, make sure it's good. And from what I've seen, it's rock solid rock solid hardware wise it's it's great uh software wise i haven't seen a single glitch um literally as soon as i got it set up everything's been um really good you know once again it's kind of becoming uh my favorite here for the uh pixhawk cube setups so i do have a few aircraft as i mentioned i do have a few aircraft on order uh with this setup and a, a mfd 3000 so the little brother to this one and um you know i'm looking forward to it so the settings we kind of have everything figured out i kind of like all my little modes i've got my buttons programmed how i like it uh test flew and did some waypoint missions so that was fine so any of the guys doing lidar scanning or whatever it might be um should be just fine uh, running this with Q ground control. So all in all, I think it's great. And uh, I look forward to building some machines with this guy. So one might ask, how might this be able to be improved? Um, well, the product itself is brand new and it's still in beta mode. So I, I guess anything I say software wise could change with a software update. But after going through this, here's a few things that I would probably say that could be improved. Uh, number one, updating firmware. So I did a firmware update with this and uh, I have, I would rate my level of computer expertise as like a six and a half out of 10, like a solid six and a half. Um, I think if somebody is not too familiar with a computer and going into the command line and installing drivers and um, things of that nature, you might find a, a software update a little bit difficult. Uh, but once again, this is in beta, so maybe a, a, a regular firmware update will be really simple at that point. So I don't know. But the firmware update for this was kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, probably took me like an hour once it was all said and done to kind of figure figure out what kind of drivers I need and uh, things of that nature. But I did get it updated, so uh, 
uh, that was nice. So this is running the latest firmware as of July 1st, 2019. Um, second thing that probably could be improved upon, which isn't even a complaint, but I would just say that I'd love to see one bigger bigger tablet you know bigger um, area for my hands to rest like I got pretty big hands and it kind of dwarfs this uh, controller but I think like the, the size is kind of perfect like ergonomically it's really perfect but I would love to see a bigger one a uh, bigger tablet a brighter tablet perhaps like once again it's quite good I don't know if video quite does it justice and if I've said it before apologize but I would put the brightness somewhere in between like an iPad and maybe a crystal sky so maybe like a thousand nits is what it could be um, um, but it could use more nits, as someone did mention in a comment, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, other than that, I would love for some of these uh, values here on the side to be a little bit bigger. Um, I think it's incredible that on the right hand side, I can literally type in whatever parameter I want to be on the right side. So uh, for example, as I mentioned, I have like distance to the ground station, milliamps that I've consumed, battery voltage, flight time, ground speed, and altitude. Those are kind of the main things that I need to see, but I've got pretty good eyes, but I would still have to kind of look down on it and, and and, uh, and, and really look at the parameters closely while I was flying. So that would be one thing that I would say I'd like to see improve as well. Um, but other than that, I mean, this thing, like, what do you expect? I mean, it's 800 bucks. It's the first crack at it, first crack at hardware, and it's really good. Um, another pro that I, I don't think I've mentioned at all is the battery life. So I've been out here testing for hours now, and it's at half. Like, battery life is really good, really solid. So super pleased with battery life. Um, you know, form factor, it's good too. So, you know, we look at it compared to the drone and it, the drone dwarfs it pretty much. I mean, it's pretty, pretty incredible. So, you know, all in all, super happy, super stoked. But in general, if you have any questions regarding here link or something, uh, I'd be happy to kind of help you out and maybe steer you in the right direction. So that's it for today's testing. Uh, I'm about done. Time to head home. So see you guys. Thanks for watching.